Konnichiwa, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about the life of the salesperson. So let's get going. This is the fourth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku here in downtown Tokyo. It is chic central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guide committed to your success, the president of Dale, Carnegie kind of Train Japan, the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be ready early this year. Now, in this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. So don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy on making sure no one gets access to your private information. Here's the daily lineup on iTunes, Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday, the Presentation Japan Series, every second Tuesday, we have the Business Touches in No Oshie Show, Wednesday, the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series, and every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast, Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 220, 220. And I am talking about selling year in, year out, part one. Journeyman salespeople are starting another year of selling. Maybe their financial year is a calendar year, or maybe the year wraps up in March. It doesn't matter, because there is a mental trick we play on ourselves that January 1st represents a New start, a new year. Sales can be exhausting, and 2020 will not go down as a bumper year for the vast majority of salespeople. Yet, here we go again. How do we get ourselves back up into the saddle on that bucking bronco that is the sales life? In Japan, very few salespeople are basing their livelihood on full commission sales. Here, we have either a base and bonus, or a base and commission system. That means that if we don't sell much, we can still eat. So the economic pressure here is less intense than in other markets. It's also tricky to get fired for poor performance in Japan. The courts expect the employer to reassign the sales failures into other jobs more suited to their lack of talent. So the downside of not selling is not that cutthroat here. Also, the vast majority of salespeople are amateurs, not properly trained in the profession. Rank amateurs bumbling their way along is the norm here, so no need to feel any social pressure either. In these circumstances, it can be as if everyone in sales in Japan is sitting in a lukewarm bath, not too hot and not cold, but also not very exciting either. Blocking and tackling was the basics of winning football games, according to Vince Lombardi, the legendary coach of the Green Bay Packers. So, with sales, prospecting and closing are the basics of sales. We have to be farmers and hunters, finding new buyers and treasuring our existing buyers, looking for the reorder sequence to kick in. Know, like, and trust are the basics of sales. The buyer has to know who we are. If they have no idea or never heard of us or never met us, then they won't be buying anything from us. The internet is a godsend because buyers can find us to solve a problem they are having, and we didn't lift a finger. All that finger lifting was done by the marketing department, spending dough and presto, we get the leads. Okay, we get the lead, but so what? Will the buyer like a total stranger? And even more importantly, trust a total stranger. What did your parents tell you? Don't talk to strangers. Therefore, 
The initial touch with the buyer is critical. It isn't a one and done thing though, because there is bound to be numerous touches on the way through. Jan Carlson's book, Moments of Truth, is a must read on the importance of every part of the organization taking ownership and accountability for the customer. This sounds simple enough. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public courses, but we are also doing custom in-house programs. We do these live online. We do them in our super safe classroom. We do them in Japanese, do them in English. Today's show is sponsored on the 18th of January by The Secrets of How to Make Human Relationships and Public Speaking. On the 22nd of January in our professional leadership series, we're looking at how to lead, not just manage. Also on the 22nd of January, doing Managing Stress. Now, get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. This is the Bible for selling in Japan and Japan Business Mastery. Both are available on Amazon. And don't forget my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be available this year. Check out our website, enjapan.dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, well, you are in the right place because we've got over a thousand view at Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We're releasing three TV shows every week on YouTube, The Cutting Edge, Japan Business Show. That's the premier business show in Japan. comes every Monday. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Master Show. Sundays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on the topic of leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV Show. Don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. In my experience, Japanese businesses don't teach accountability to the entire team. Salespeople are expected to be accountable and bend over backward to meet the buyer's request. The person picking up the phone, though, didn't get the email about first impressions, accountability, or ownership. They got the email about if they transfer a salesperson through, they will get severely scolded. Because they don't know who is calling, they have found it is best to treat everyone as guilty until proven innocent and be as cautious as possible with strangers. If the buyer calls for you and you are not there, the person picking up the phone is not helpful. They say stuff like they're not at their desk now and say nothing more. This forms a negative impression about your company and its care for the buyer. Your own team are killing the like and trust bit for you with the customer. This was what Carlson found. You have to educate everyone to think differently about keeping the sense of ownership high and the like and trust part powerful. Another part of the like and trust component are our communication skills. If we sound like we don't know what we're doing, then the client won't like that. If we say one thing, but the truth proves to be something else, buyers definitely won't like that either. I had a person I know here in Tokyo call me up about some animation sales tools. I was interested, and we had a conversation about it. It turned out he was actually just fronting for the American firm, and my next conversation was with someone from the headquarters. What the local guy told me was different to what the American rep told me. I immediately lost trust in both sides. I never went any further with the deal, and I would never do business with the local guy ever again. This is another Carlson nominated fail point. As the conversation moves around through the organization, there has to be integrity, consistency, and truth. In part two, we will continue to look at the other key basics. The blocking and tackling of the sales process. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, then please work on your karma and share this with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. 
immediately apply what you've learned today. Go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success here in Nippon.